Jocelyn Aspa with the Investing News Network. Joining me today is Jay Martin, CEO of Cambridge House. Uh, thanks for joining me today, Jay. Thank you for having me. So Cambridge House is hosting the fifth Cantech Conference in Toronto at the end of January. What will make the fifth anniversary a little bit different than past conferences? We have outgrown the space that we used for the previous four years at the Cantech Conference. So we've moved upstairs in the Toronto Convention Centre to where the PDAC used to be. Uh, we've grown the show floor by about 50%. We've added a third stage to accommodate the demand and the show is sold out. So needless to say, and this is the first year ever we've sold out the Cantech Conference. Um, so we feel an amazing sense of gratitude and excitement about this conference. Awesome. Uh, so how many speakers and uh, presenters will be at the conference this year? We'll have about 80 uh, speakers between the three stages and there will be about 120 both public and private innovation companies. Okay. Uh, so technologies like blockchain and cryptocurrencies, artificial intelligence and machine learning, augmented and virtual reality, uh, fintech and clean tech will be some of the technologies uh, at this conference. So what about these excites you this year? Well, after 2017, I think we're all super curious about what's going to happen next with cryptocurrencies. Um, however, the underlying technology is where the real excitement lies. Um, blockchain is massive and cryptocurrency is really just the first small application of what this technology can do. So all of our eyes and ears are watching blockchain for sure. Uh, personally, I'm super excited about virtual and augmented reality. At this conference, we're building, we call it the, the VR village. And this is a handful of companies that have set up elaborate exhibits, experiences that our investors and attendees can hop into, pop on the goggles and walk through an experience. Uh, what's very cool is that when people traditionally think about virtual reality, they associate that with gaming. And there's definitely some very cool gaming companies that will be there. But the real disruption comes from the VR and AR companies that are entering the enterprise uh, level. So we're talking about your, your real estate experiences, your retail experiences, education and training. Uh, massively disruptive. And I think that the companies you see and get to experience at the Cantech conference this year are going to absolutely blow your mind. Awesome. Uh, so the event will also have a trade show. Companies will have the opportunity to have a presentation time uh, in the investor breakout rooms. So how should investors approach companies that they might be interested in? So we are building the deal room at Cantech this year. Now the deal room is a feature that we've launched at our other conferences around the country. This is, think of this as like a conference within a conference. So this is a room on the trade show floor where we facilitate uh, private one-on-one -on -one meetings between investors and companies. So presently today, for example, all of our pre-registered attendees that have already registered for Cantech and all the issuers that have already registered are setting up their one-on-one -on -one meetings. Uh, we look like we're on pace on the day of Cantech to host around 1,000 one-on-one -on -one meetings between investors and companies in the deal room in addition to the trade show. Cool. Uh, so finally, is there anything else that you're excited about regarding the fifth anniversary conference? Uh, if you have any interest in the Canadian innovation sector, this show has become the one-stop shop must attend. It's the largest innovation event in the country. It's on January 31st. You can register to attend at cambridgehouse.com. Awesome. Thanks so much for, for joining me today, Jay. I'm Jocelyn Aspa with the Investing News Network.